Let's come back to the city where we are now joined by reporter Seth Olale, who has managed to get Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko on camera to discuss a few issues right in the city. Top among them is land grabbing in the Eden House Rehab Center eviction. Seth, over to you. Thanks so much, Trevor Ombija. It is a sensitive issue that has been actually the topic here in Nairobi County and to speak to that issue even further is the Nairobi governor himself Mike Sonko and just let's start with the rehabilitation issue the rehabilitation center issue that uh, involved Eden House Foundation first of all we we're not sure who carried out the eviction and why it happened uh, but right now we're seeing a happy ending to it Actually, we've already resolved uh, the issue which was there between us and uh, Eden uh, uh, Foundation. Mm -hmm. And uh, already we've uh, issued a check for them to go and look for another uh, place. And uh, actually, there is good news. We are partnering with Eden uh, Foundation. We've identified another uh, rehabilitation center uh, whereby uh, we are going to put a rehabilitation center which will have a capacity of holding 100 uh, to 150 uh, patients. And uh, unlike uh, my predecessor administration, the law is very clear that 50% of what we collect from all the bars through the liquor licensing uh, board should go to uh, rehabilitate the people who you consume uh, uh, alcohol. Mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, we finished this issue. And uh, the main issue we are lighting, we were there just to to, to address the issue of land uh, grabbing. Mm -hmm. We had received information that City Park uh, uh, was being grabbed by some cartels. Mm -hmm. We've addressed the issue. We've repossessed our land which is there. A similar incident happened again today in, uh, in, 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 in um, uh, Pumwani. Mm -hmm. Our lab technician at Pumwani uh, Maternity Hospital was evicted from a county uh, house by police officers and some private uh, developers. We've addressed that. So we have no, we did not have any ill motive with the uh, Eden Foundation. And it's, uh, you've mentioned about cartels and uh, the main cause, you mentioned uh, a former senior chief staff uh, in county who was also involved in, you know, what, uh, collaborating with the cartels. Are you going to take any action against former staff we involved? Have, we have already suspended him a long time ago because he has so many uh, similar cases. The Pumwani case is the one who is involved. The Eden Foundation case at City Park is the one who is involved. Another one, there is a case in, um, we are doing a bridge at uh, uh, Mulango Kubwa, connecting Mulango Kubwa to Hospital Hillwood. We have already done the bridge. We want to do the, the tamaking part. The remaining part is just 20% of the work uh, which is left uh, uh, to be done. But then that land, the riparian land has been allocated to another senior police officer. Okay. I know the police officers have stopped our contractors from doing this uh, important bridge to the people of Madare. Okay, Governor, let me just cut you short, but let us now cross over to Karen, where I was yesterday, and residents under the association are complaining about illegal structures coming up, uh, majorly in non-residential areas, and they said that they're being cleared by officials right at City Hall, and also NEMA is involved. Are you aware about that, and what are you doing about that? I've already given uh, strict uh, directives that we are regularizing all the plans which were irregularly issued by my, uh, my uh, predecessor's administration staff. So we are recalling all the plans and uh, we are going to have a public uh, participation uh, meeting. We will involve all the residents association in current, all the stakeholders will be involved so that we, we come up with a good plan for that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, finally, let's talk about the DJ industry. And we had we a had number of DJs that complaining they're being apprehended by county Ascaris while in the line of duty. Are you aware about that? I'm aware about that. And uh, what I can say, most of the DJs are Mavijanas. I'm appealing to the DJs. I just issued a comprehensive statement, I think, some few days ago. I think they should also uh, play music in a manner that they don't interfere with the rights of other uh, Nairobians. Mavijana mm wakiteza -hmm. muziki, at least pure, especially those in residential, the, the clubs in residential areas, who play music in a manner wana punguza sauti. If they want la la loud music, waende CBD, mahali kuna interference and privacy ya wananchi. But otherwise we have no issues, we don't want to fight the youth. We know kuna shida mingi Kenya. But we have to say DJs ni mavijana kama mimi. Wacheza mziki na njia kuhishimu environment. Wangalie nani 
ako karibu na hapo wengi ni mavijana ndio naongea ile lugha ambaye wataelewa otherwise hatuna issue na DJ and in most cases sababu nimeona the reaction on social media that we should be going for the club patrons or the club owners yes. but in most cases the club owners are not there mm-hmm. sababu sauti mziki wanacheza between ya yeah, sauti 12 am to 2 am mm-hmm. during that time uh, the club patrons the club managers are there i don't there but who are the operators of this uh, uh, music machines they are the DJs okay. so we have no issues with them mambo ya cash bell hiyo nime nime nimeondoa it is the the police by the way who have that uh, responsibility of asking for cash bell from DJs not the county so we are going to act on that but again we are appealing to our DJs to play music in a manner that they don't interfere with the rights of other Nairobians mm-hmm. otherwise we have no issues with them thank you but Mike Sonko Nairobi governor is pointing to quite some issues that have been coming up lately in Rifa or in regards to Nairobi county issues to deal with land grabbing as well and so that has been the bit from Nairobi governor Mike Sonko Trevor Lali speaking to us live, of course, giving us an issue that is covering a lot of Nairobians and more concerned about the land grabbing issue right now. And it's been comprehensively covered by Seth Olale from the closure of the Eden Rehab Center and unclear circumstances. The governor says they've been issued with a check now to the current SDA chart that is supposed to be built in a residential area that the court stopped. An explanation was also done that they're in the process of regularizing the issuance of allotment letters from the pre- previous county government.